Snake Lock and Enemies by Paige and Daisy. This anemone captures fish and other animals using its toxic stinging tentacles. It's usually grey or deep green with purple tips. The colour depends on the amount of available light. It grows to about 8 centimetres diameter. They prefer bright rocky reefs with shallow water as they use sunlight as an energy source. Like all anemones, they, dig they digest food through their mouth parts that they also use as their bottoms. But today, because of the stormy weather and that we've had for the last couple of re weeks, the water from the sky that's fell has took over the salt water and has made the anemones put it, pull in, pull in their tentacles. Today I found an edible crab. He is very furry because I think he's a boy. And okay, shall we have a little look, see if he's a boy or a girl? And he Turn it up. has Let's have a, look. a bit sharp pincers. Yeah, we got a little boy there. And his leg is a bit... Is oh, hairy. Bit. What do you think he does with those hairy legs? Um, spike animals. Spike animals, that's an idea. Could sense with them perhaps, couldn't oh. it? Beadlet and Enemies by Daisy and Paige. Beadlet and Enemies are probably my favourite anemones because they are beautifully rusty red colour. They can also be green, brown or orange. They don't grow as big as the strawberries. <laughs> And you find them underneath the rock, so if you're looking for them, you have to turn the rock over. Sometimes when you hold edible crabs upside down, they chuck in their legs. And I think the, sh the furry parts are for showing off to girls to get a girlfriend. Gem anemones by Daisy and Paige. This right there is a gem, a gem anemone. They, unlike most anemones, they're smaller and they look like a flower. <laughs> but and they're purple to about the colour of red. They live in underneath the rocks in in rock pools. Thanks for listening.